Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Let's give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bushim Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, Elders Jim S. And uh, peace and blessing. And so I taste to Yahweh and just continue to push this word until the end. Us faith based Israelites, I like to say. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go into it. Time of year we're in. Hey, um, this is a heavily demonic time of the year. This is it. It gets no worse now than any other parts of the year. Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, which re represents the slaughter of uh, of uh, the Israelites. You know, you know. The, uh, well, let's just say the Northern Kingdom. You know. It just killed what it was the killing was going on with the southern and the northern kingdom, you know, you know, Esau's uh, you know, deadly reign, his deadly terror, you know. Um, well that's my train of thought. But anyway, um uh, going into this uh, Halloween madness where uh, a lot of sacrifice and and uh, a lot of you know, a lot of a lot of demonic things is gonna be going on. But what I'm doing is I'm going to go into a um, popular book here. A lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the apostles use a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the Akim use. Uh, it's called fossilized customs. You know, this is through the spirit is beautiful how the heavenly Father works. That you don't have to have this uh, magnificent, high-powered memory. <laughs> you know, He gives us these books. You know, to use and uh, and you know, not we don't have to have that burden of the terabytes that we use to store up things that we remember and don't have to necessarily have to be used up by all this information that, you know, that, you know, let's put it this way, um, that don't have to be used up by the, the rivers of living water, you know, with the rivers of living water represents this truth, you know, it's, it's too much to contain, man. And, and I, and I like to re tell brothers and young ones, I try and get this word to that, uh, man, uh, the apostles and forgot more scriptures and than these churches even ever, ever knew, <laughs> you know, word is beautiful, man. But I'm going into this book, the fossilized customs. All right. It's a bad book. I recommend you get it. Look it up. Fossilized customs by, um, what's his name? Um, Lou White. Okay. Okay, so let me start reading here. Um, um, this begins with, um, yeah, I can barely see this. I'm getting some light here. Okay, sources material from YNCA address given in the back. The two Celtic words, hallowed evening, came from all hallowed eve. And now we call it Halloween. This is now even more popular than Easter and rivals Christmas. The roots of this festival come to us from Druid demon worship, which these were so-called Negroes, niggas going off serving demons and serving other gods other than the true living power. You know, just another example of how, why we're, um, why we're in the condition we're in to this day, why we're at the bottom, you know, because we went off. We all went off, you know, doing wicked acts, man. And then this Halloween is just a, a prime example of those wicked acts, all right? And um, you see these examples of these fools walking around now, with, and especially the spirit of this going around, even when it's not in this time of year, but these niggas walking around with these dreadlocks, which those dreadlocks are snakes, man. Those dreadlocks, don't it remind you of, look at Medusa. But that's what those dreadlocks represent. They represent snakes, man. Each of those, each of those filthy ass naps, long snaky naps. They're snakes, <laughs> you know. They eat foods out in the out in the forest, just doing their wickedness. Anyway, reading on. Druid demon worship witches were said to fly brooms over the crops to teach them how to grow. It was a fertility myth. And when the first Roman Catholic missionaries encountered these Druids and another example of these um, fertility myths is you going through the country, you may see a few of them in the major cities, but in mainly the country, you see only people's having their homes and their, 
barns and their garages a star, you know, a star, all right? And um, that star represents a fertility god, all right? So it goes, it go on, witches were said to fly, it said, Ever that it was a fertility myth when the first Roman Catholic missionaries encountered these Druids, they met stubborn resistance because the inhabitants of Angel Land, Sweden, Netherland, Northern Germany, Finland, and Ireland were very nationalistic. The rituals were embraced as Halloween, was originally called the Feast of the Dead. And the scriptures tell you clearly, tell you, and I thought I had it pulled up, and it was just through the spirit I knew that was coming. Um, 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 it says here in Matthew's um, uh, 12 and 26 and as touching the dead that they rise have ye not read in the book of Moses how in the bush the most high spake unto him saying I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob he is not the God of the dead but the God of the living yea therefore do great ye Therefore, do greatly err. And that's what's going on now. Everyone you see in putting on these goddamn costumes, which putting on their demon, putting on their true demon face, <laughs> like I like to say, putting on their true demon face, um, greatly err. You know, and they greatly err because this, the, because who they who leading them. And mainly when it comes to the so-called Negro or the so-called Israelite period, who leads them? The woman, you know. And what does the scripture say is about the woman? As for my people, the scripture in uh, Isaiah 3 and 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. Err. Go the hell off. Going the hell off. You know? Going the hell off and wondering why they're destroyed. And that brings to mind this scripture. Uh, I wanted to begin even begin with this scripture in Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, which sottish means straight up dumb, stupid, ignorant. Sottish children, you know? You know, MRDD, need a social security check, you know? So sottish children, and they have not known, so like it, and they have none understanding so you going on putting on your demon face, you have no understanding. Because the Most High don't take delight in that wickedness, man. He takes no delight in it, you know. But he's going to take delight when he sends his demons to terrorize this world, terrorize the wicked that chose not to hearken unto his word. That's what the Most High is going to take delight in. He's going to take delight in destroying you, you know, right along with his men, his men of the Lord. That's trying their best to turn you from wickedness to from filthiness, from uncleanness to uh, from to from being profane to righteousness, you know. Anyway, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So you teaching your children and you even justifying these wicked acts of Halloween, and, uh, a demonic, a heavily demonic day, then you lack of understanding, man, you know. Give a damn who you are. I don't give a damn how much money you're making, how popular you are, and how loved you are. You greatly err. You greatly err against Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, man. And his name isn't Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai. So it says, these pre-Christian druids had the barbarians doing ghastly things. These did I read that correctly? These pre-Christian Druids had the barbarians doing ghastly things. It was a dreaded occasion since it was thought that time stood still and the souls of the dead walked the land. Gifts, especially food, were left outside for these roaming ghosts. <laughs> and again, the Most High is the God of the living and not of the dead, man. You know? And it's just the thing. It's just Jake just loves these Loves to be creepy. Jake loves to terrorize and Jake loves to scare. Jake loves to be, uh, you know, Jake just like, that's the funny thing about Jake, man. Jake just liked to be a weirdo, you know, and that's just a true fact, man. Jake liked to be strange, different. <laughs> it ain't, you know, the spirit wasn't always that way, but the times we're living in now, man, it's just, 
You know, it's waxing worse and it's waxing worse, man. You know. Anyway, um, gifts, especially food, were left outside for these Roman ghosts with the hope that no harm would come to the households. And it's kind of funny how they trying to um, uh, read that with the hope that no harm would come to their household. That spirit of the, uh, the Passover, how the blood was sprinkled above the door doorpost. Uh, it's like they, uh, Jake then went and profaned that and turned it into using it like this, leaving food outside for these Roman ghosts with the hope that no harm would come to the household. You see, you're not seeing in the spirit, that's where they got that from. The Druids chose certain children to be burned alive on bone and on bonfires. Whoo, the scriptures mention that these fools taking their children to the fire to sacrifice their children to Moloch. You know, as offerings to the sun. Parents tied yellow ribbons around oak trees as prayers to the sun to have their children spared. The fat left over from the child was fashioned into a candle. This is absolutely amazing, man. These are Israelites that were into this, that started all this and placed into a carved out pumpkin or a hollowed out vegetable with a round, sun-shaped design. The victim was called jack-o'-lantern. Prisoners and unlike people were burned alive in wicked cages shaped in the form of animals hung from trees. All of this was ultimately to pay homage to the sun. Woden or Odin, as you now know, this druid deity gives us our name for the fourth day of the week, Woden's Day, <laughs> from Sh and it continues on to going into uh, something else, but this Halloween madness, is, um, is, which is pagan, it's pagan, you know. And uh, again, Jake Two Thirds has no problem with this being pagan, you know. Um, again, foolish people, man. It's destined to be destroyed by fire. Uh so. Um, and there's many more scriptures to read on this, as far as. Uh, uh, sacrificing and you know going into the history of Jake sacrificing the children and, and you know which you know uh, looking at the um, Ishakar and you know the, how they they were heavy into sacrificing they have and I'm not sure what time of year and I can look it up let me just look it up how they're into uh, the day of the dead Day of the Dead. Donate to empower. Well, that's something else. Day of the Dead. Here we go. Let me just click on this here. Whew, you can see that that spirit. Oh, well, let me go back. I can let me see that spirit. That's that's foul. You see, that's a foul spirit. That's Israelites. Those are Israelites, the children of the Most High, man. Not that this is the work of the Most High, but this is the, the children of the Most High, the Israelites going off. You know, it's a foul spirit. It's that foul spirit that I'm trying to uh, trying to show you here. That foul spirit again. Again, he's the God of the living, not of the dead. The Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico, and particularly the Central and South regions, and by people of Mexican heritage elsewhere. The multi-day multi holiday involves family and friends gathering to pray for and remember friends and family members who have died and help them support their spiritual journey. In Mexican culture, death is viewed as a natural part of the human cycle. Mexican view is is not as a day of sadness but as a day of celebration because their loved ones awaken and celebrate with them and two of the tradition was inscribed in the whatever whatever okay and what time of the year is it november begins november 1st ends november 2nd so it's coming up it's coming up 
heavy time of the year, man. Demonic is all hell. You know, you know, just justifying how it's going to be destroyed, you know, and how, you know, you know. And me saw it behind the scenes encouraging it on more and more and more and more. <laughs> so anyway, um, till next time, Lord willing, Shalom.